synthetic division, pre-calculus, pre-college math. The previous couple of lectures, we were discussing how to do long division. Uh, this problem says use synthetic division to find the quotient, remainder, and determine if x plus 2 is a factor of 9x cubed plus 19x squared plus 4x plus 4. So the past couple of days, we've been doing this with long division. And the uh, remainder theorem, which was our previous lecture, discusses that if, if this divided by this, we get a quotient, which we'll definitely get. But if we get a remainder of 0, then that means that, yes, the answer, it is a factor. Um, but synthetic division is basically another way of doing this division. Uh, before I get into the synthetic division, I want to do this with long division just to have as a comparison guide. Uh, you're not going to ever do this uh, with long division once you learn synthetic division. Synthetic division is much quicker and neater and, and honestly a better method. Uh, but I want to just have a long division example here so you can kind of see the similarities and the differences. Um, so I'm going to do this real quick with long division. I'm not going to uh, talk too much about it because that's not what this lecture is about. So I'm going to kind of fly through this. Hopefully you are uh, pretty good at long division by now. Uh, so, anyways, I'm going to do this divided by this, and let me just run through this. So, 9x cubed divided by x is 9x squared distributes to be 9x cubed plus 18x squared. Then you change signs and end up with a remainder of 1x squared, bring down 4x, and then divide x squared by x, and you get... 1x. I'm going to write it as 1x for now. Uh, we know we don't need to put that 1 there, but I'm going to put that 1 there, and I think you'll see why later. Uh, so distribute it to x plus 2 is x squared plus 2x. Change those signs over, and we're left with a remainder of 2x, and then bring down the plus 4. 2x divided by x is 2. Distribute to 2x plus 4, and by changing my signs, I do have a remainder of 0. So the quotient is 9x squared plus x plus 2. The remainder is 0. And determine if it is a factor, the answer is yes, because we have a remainder of 0. OK, that's long division. Synthetic division is done very similar, just without variables. Uh, so it's a little strange at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's really uh, much better than doing this whole process out. So first thing, first we, we write this the dividend, the 9x cubed part, this whole long polynomial, we rewrite it, but without any variables and without any plus signs. So just the coefficients, 9, 19, 4, and 4. Put the plus signs if you want, but I suggest you don't. So all I'm writing is these coefficients, 9, 19, 4, and 4. And then I place a bracket around it, like this. And it's similar to the bracket that we use for the long division here. It's just kind of upside down. But make sure you leave enough space here so that a number could go in here. Because we're going to put numbers there. So you, can't, you don't want to cut it off there. You want to make sure you do enough space so you can put you know, numbers here and so on. Okay. Then we put a number here. Now the number that goes here has to be a root. And we've talked about how when we do long division, we divide by factors. See, x plus 2 is a factor. For synthetic division, we use the root form. But x plus 2 as a factor, we know can be simply converted to x equals negative 2 as a root. And that's what we need to use in the synthetic division is the root form, not the factor form. So if I give you a factor, just set it equal to 0, solve for x, that gets you the root form that needs to go here. OK. So this is your setup for synthetic division. The root goes out here, the coefficients go in here, and that's just taking away the variables and the plus signs. If the number was negative, I'd put the negative sign. But we know without a sign, we, we assume plus. All right. Very simple. Bring down the first number and draw an arrow right there and make that a 9. Then, that's all you do. You always just bring down the first number. That's it. Multiply it by your root. So 9 times negative 2, that number goes here. You multiply negative 2 times 9 is negative 18. Add these together, combine these together, we get 1, a positive 1. 
then repeat. And, and so let me go back now and compare this. Uh, so the first thing we did was we brought down a 9. That's putting this 9 right here. Then we multiplied it by negative 2 and ended up with negative 18. That is here. Combining 19 and negative 18 is the 1, which is our remainder here, which is going to ultimately be the 1 here. Okay. Then we repeat the process. Remember, you divide, distribute, change, combine. Well, all right. It's kind of the same thing. Bring down. Multiply here, combine. Multiply here, combine. Multiply here, combine. That's it. So we combine these to be 1. Times the negative 2 root is negative 2. Combine these positive 2 times the root negative 2 negative 4 combine these 0 what this is is now we're going to fill in the variables around it now because our power started with an x cubed that means our answer is going to be one power less so it's going to be x squared and I fill that in here that this turns into 9x squared plus 1 x, which we know the 1x is optional, I could just write it as plus x, plus 2, and then this last number here isn't part of it, that's the remainder of 0 that we got from down here. So we end up with this answer and this remainder, this quotient and this remainder, without all of this mess. And by getting the remainder of 0, yes, again, it confirms it is a fact. So this is basically it. Let me do another example. So use synthetic division to find the quotient remainder of the determinant if x equals negative 7 is a, no, it's not a root, is a, no, no, it is a root, sorry, is a root, previous one said factor, this is a root, is it a root of that? Now, I could do long division, I could turn it into x plus 7, because that would be the factor form, and do long division, but we're not going to do that. We're going to do synthetic division. So first, rewrite it without variables. So 2, 19, 39, 31. Put the bracket around it, leave enough space below the numbers for another number. The root is negative 7. See the last problem they gave us a factor, so we had to convert it to a root. But this time it's a root, so we could just use it. Bring down the 2. Multiply it by the root to get negative 14. Combine to get 5. Multiply it by negative 7 to get negative 35. Combine it to get with that 4, multiplied by negative 7 to get negative 28, combine it to get 3. The quotient is just putting in the variables around these numbers now, and since we started x cubed, we go one less. So the quotient would be 2x squared plus 5x plus 4, and the last number is not part of the quotient, it is the remainder is 3. Is it, a, is it a root of the polynomial? The answer is no, because this is not 0. The final answer is no, it is not. And we could do this with long division. We could do x plus 7. You know, this whole thing divided by x plus 7, you would get the same quotient and same remainder of 0, which again confirms us no, it's not a 0. It's just a lot less work and a lot less mess. So we're going to run through it one more time. Bring down the first number. Multiply to get this. Combine. Multiply to get this. Combine. Multiply to get this. Combine. If it's a zero, it's a root. If not, it's not. The first several numbers are your quotient numbers. Put them around the variables, x squared, x, and so on. The last number is the remainder, and often that's the key. Okay? So we'll practice synthetic division later.